My name is Matthew. I'm born and raised here in Houston, Texas. I currently am an analyst for a consulting firm, but I act, dance, and do poetry. And what I'm looking for in a woman is a woman who is confident in who she is, knows who, she's, who she finds herself to be, and is willing to express that and also just accept me for all that I am. Okay, let's bring out our first single gentleman. Hello, right here next Hello, time. hello. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Let's start off with your name, your age, and your occupation. Okay. Hi, my name is Matthew. I am 28, and I'm currently an analyst for Deloitte. It's a consulting firm. And what are you looking for in a partner? I'm looking for someone who is uh, proud to be herself, uh, knows herself, knows her walk with God, knows who she is, and is able to stand in that in, in the environment. And what is a deal breaker for you? Uh, a deal breaker is not having a relationship with Christ and uh, hypocrisy, uh, having an expectation for me that you don't have for yourself. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we do have one pop below. Let's My go chest. over here and find right. out why. Hello. Nice Hello. to meet you. Uh, tell me your name, your age, and your occupation. My name is Lola. I'm 28, and I am a health specialist slash case manager. Okay. okay. All right, and please tell me, why did you pop your balloon? Um, you said something very important. I was going to let it slide, but then you were like, um, not having expectations. Uh, okay. And it was, it was, my expectation was like clean shoes. And my shoes are clean and really nice. Okay. So I was like, you know what? That's fair. Yeah. That's, that's fair. That's fair. That's fine. Okay. And is she definitely your type? She is very attractive, yes. Okay. All right, well, we do still have some more balloons that have not been popped. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> All righty, since you do have four unpopped balloons, uh, one general question that you can ask the ladies. Uh, what does communication look like to you? Start with you. What is your name and your age and your occupation? I'm Kristen, um, I'm 33, and my occupation, I'm a salon owner. Okay. Um, I feel like communication to me looks like not being too worried about what we'll think about each other, but being open and honest okay. and also allowing each other to be vulnerable with each other. Um, communication is no matter how big or small the problem is, communicate that. Got you. If I'm overstepping a boundary, mm -hmm. let me know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you for the answer. Your name, your age, and occupation. My name is Valerie. I'm a life insurance agent, and I'm 34. I'll be 35 on Friday. Congratulations. Happy early birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, communication. Um, I would say communication for me, like, the key is the tone. Like, what, how, how you say things, not necessarily what you say, but how you say it. Also, listening and not necessarily hearing to just respond. I think that's, that's key on good communication. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Can you give me your name, your age, and your occupation? Hello, my name is Alexi. I'm 33, and I'm a preschool teacher. Okay. And communication looks like to me is listening. Um, and that's more so just listening. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're all nervous here, so that's it's okay. That's so good, too. That's very important as well. Thank you. Your name, your age, and your occupation? Hi, I'm Julianne. I'm 28, and I'm currently a grad student. Yeah. Um, so... Unemployed. You're getting a degree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I would say communication is more transparency. Okay. So not necessarily having to ask you something, but you being comfortable enough to let me know without mm -hmm. having to have like those sit down and being like, what are you? But okay. being like, hey, like, this is how I feel. This is what's wrong. And be like, damn, like, thank you for letting me know. And then being able to Wait. have that comfortable conversation after that. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, you're going to have to pop two balloons based off of the answers, how they look, all the above. Sorry. <sighs> Father, forgive me. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Um, Wow, this is harder than I thought it was going to be. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> okay, okay. I need to do it. 
And then another one? Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. And why did you pop her balloon? Uh, her answer was amazing. I, I do I do value the answer that she gave. Uh, again, age and because uh, her answer was amazing. She is very attractive. It's just the age difference for me. Which I figured. I was going to say, like, I was going to pop my balloon because of that, but I said he's cute, so. Okay. And is she your type? Yes, she is. And what makes her your type? I, I, I do like her personality. I love her smile and the way she dresses, carries herself. And I do appreciate the honesty in the answer. Okay. okay. And why did you pop this lovely lady's balloon? <laughs> uh, I understand the nerves behind the answer. Uh, but again, the answer was, was relatively short. So um, elaboration would have been nice. Uh, and it was really just a tough decision. Everyone gave great answers, so I had to nitpick something. Yes. Okay. And is she your type as well? Yes, she is. And what makes her your type? I love her skin. I love her eyes. It's it's really bright, but I like love her smile as well. I love the bob. The shortcut is, is a nice thing. And then, of course, I love the outfit as well. Thank you. Okay. All righty, let's go back here. Okay, with the two balloons and the two ladies that we have left, uh, you are welcome to ask another question. Okay. Um, of course, man of God. So I, I highly value, of course, the, what it means to love according to God's definition and biblically First Corinthians. Uh, I do also value the, the mindset behind husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and wives submit to your husbands. Uh, and understanding that this is a very sensitive topic uh, when it comes to, up to the word submission, but um, what does that look like for you? Uh, what do you feel like is a, uh, how do you? <laughs> no, thank you for the honesty. <laughs> uh, somebody popped the balloon on my question. Balloon pop, let's go ask her okay. why. Okay, could you tell us why did you pop your balloon? Hi, Matthew. How you doing? <laughs> um, well, when you first started, you said that you were like really into church, and mm -hmm. I I believe in God, and okay. I I'm all for Him. You know, we yeah, yeah. we're homies. But um, <laughs> uh, once you started actually saying like First Corinthians and that submission, uh, that just lost me because I'm not we're not that tight, you know. So what do you uh, what do you mean? Uh, my mom is non-denominational and okay. my dad is Catholic, but we were not raised in the church. So. Okay. No, I, I, I respect that as well. Um, currently, I would say I'm not non-denominational. I grew up Baptist. I, I do value outside of your um, having a denomination to be under, but mainly that you have a relationship with Christ. And you can sort of walk in that from your own to be able to determine how you should live out your life according to the way Christ Are you trying made. to change my mind? What is it? Uh, <laughs> wait, look. <laughs> do you want your no, balloon no, back? No. <laughs> No, I'm just, just communicating and expressing my thoughts, but I do respect your choice and your decision. Thank you. Okay. Let's go right back. You do have one more unpopped balloon. Hallelujah. <laughs> Since we do have one unpopped balloon, uh, would you like to ask him a question? Yes. Um, how do you feel about children? And is there a certain amount of children which is a deal breaker? Uh, in long term, I don't. Children aren't a deal breaker for me. Uh, as of current current circumstances, children are a deal breaker for me. All righty. Well, <laughs> you're doing your thing. Hey, it's, it's a part of the journey. <laughs> all right. Well, we do have all pop balloons here. You did great. Thank you. The ladies, I really appreciate your honesty and transparency. One thing I very value is the authenticity in who you are. And I, at the end of the day, I want us to accept each other for all that we are and all that we bring to the table. So once again, thank you, ladies. Thank you, Matthew. All right. Come on out. <laughs>
I'm looking for someone that got a good head on the shoulders and basically knows what they want to do in their life, you know? All right, let's bring out our next single gentleman. Hello. What's going on? Okay. Hey, how we doing today? Hi, welcome. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Can you give us your name, your age, and your occupation, please? All right, so my name is uh, George. I am 24, and I'm a, bi I'm a biometech. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, all balloons have been popped. Let's see why all the ladies have popped their balloon. All right, all right. Let's start off with you. Your name, your age, and your occupation, please. Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm 33, and I'm a salon owner. Okay. Um, the reason why I popped my balloon is just the initial attraction. Okay. Um, I'm quite a tall girl and right. I like dudes that are taller than me. How tall are you? Um, with the heels on, 6'1", but without the heels, I'm 5'. So you're 6'1 right now? Yeah. Well, all right. All right. So six foot, 6'1". It's, so it's still beautiful, so pretty. Oh, thank five. you. Yeah. Okay, now is she your type? Oh, not exactly what I would be going for, but she she's still beautiful, you know. She still look pretty, and uh, but you know, she's not my time. Not exactly what I'd be going for at the end of the day. Yeah. All right, and your name, your age, and your occupation, and why did you pop your balloon? Hi, my name is Valerie. I am an insurance agent. I only pop my balloon because of your age. Because you're okay. young. Yeah, I'm a little older, so you probably won't want nobody that my age. <laughs> But you were very attractive, right, honestly. So, uh, That's why I ain't popped my balloon right away. I was like, he's if cute. You don't, if you don't mind me asking, though, like, how old are you? I'm 34. You're 34? Mm hmm That ain't too far. Yeah, 10 we years. You can make something happen. I'm about to be 35 on Friday. 10 happen. years. It's a, it's a whole decade, baby. <laughs> how we, we, we can still turn up, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we can turn up. <laughs> yeah, right. we can turn up for sure. Turn up. Yeah, so, uh, but she's still pretty. I mean... I generally go for old ladies at the end of the day. So. Oh, you like older yeah, women? Yeah, I, I do love okay. older women. Because, uh, do you want your balloon back? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. no, that's a, that's, that's a little too young for me. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, not so a good. problem. Yeah. Uh, and is she your type? Oh, yeah, for sure. She look, uh, you know, I prefer uh, petite ladies. And she's basically my type. And generally what I'd be going for, uh, you know, especially age, you know, age difference is something I, I like as well. So, you know. Okay. So down for that. <laughs> All right. Please tell us your name, your age, and your occupation. My name is Alexi. I'm 33, and I'm a preschool teacher. And why did you pop your balloon? Also because of age. Oh, it's yeah. all good. It's all good. How old are you? I'm 33. You're 33? Yes. Oh, man. I'm a little too young for y'all, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting 24 at all. Okay. Okay. It's all good. Yeah. Okay, now is, is Lexi your type? Yeah, I would say I would say so. I love a I love a dark queen. You know, she's very pretty. She's beautiful. So, uh, yeah, Thank you. I would say that okay. for sure. Okay, hello. Uh, what is your name, your age, and your occupation, and why did you pop your balloon? My name is Julianne. Right now, I'm a grad student, and before that, I worked in the spa on cruise ships. Um, age. 24. I'm 28, but those four years make a difference. I've lived a lot of life. Like so. how, how much how much of a difference do you think uh, four years make for you? A lot. I've had a mortgage. Okay. Um, I've traveled the world. So okay. Just having that that age difference. And then right now being a grad student, like I didn't actually hear your occupation because of all the pops. All right. Biomed tech. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a biomed tech. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I also do art on the side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's me. You trying to? Trying to what? <laughs> Convince me. Why are you having so many new things? New things? Yeah. What kind of new things? Like your art? Yeah, it's just on the side, though. Okay. Yeah, but, but mainly biomed tech for the most part. Yeah, it's just me. Okay, mm -hmm. now is she your type? Uh, not generally what I go for. But she's really pretty, though. Yeah, it's just the, the main attraction mm -hmm. for the most part, but beautiful, you know? Okay. okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm actually Mexican. <laughs> uh, you hablo español poco. Oh, sí. oh, you know Spanish. Okay. <laughs> okay, how are you? Fine. Tell us your name, your age, and your occupation, and why did you pop your balloon? I'm Lola. I'm a case manager, and I'm 28. Okay. And um, just, I would say initially, um, I like your eyebrows. Yeah. That was probably it. <laughs> So good, so good. Okay, now is yeah. she your type? Well, yeah, for sure, for sure. How old do you say you are? Then she, no, no, you're 20? 28. You're 28? Ah, uh, it's all good. But generally, <laughs> yeah, 
Jung, what are we going I'm not for? close to 24. You're not close to 24. <laughs> been there, done that. Been there, done that. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, unfortunately, you did get all the balloons popped here. Oh, uh, it's all good. I but mean, it was a pleasure having yeah. you with us. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies, so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. It's beautiful too. My name is Ricky Lee. I'm from Houston, south side of Houston, Third Ward. I'm looking for a nice female that can compliment me and, you know, kind of compliment my fly and give me peace, man. Give me peace, man, and no no stress, man, you know. And I'm, I'm tired of casually dating. Uh, I'm actually dating to get married. Deal breaker, if she got her cash up in her social media bio, that's a deal breaker for me. Okay, let's welcome our gentleman number three. Hello. Hello, how y'all doing? Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, give us your name, your age, and your occupation, please. Okay. Uh, my name is Roderick, better known as Ricky Lee. I'm 34, and I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. And when you say entrepreneur, do you mind elaborating on that for us? I don't mind. I own a security company and I also do like investment banking, like um, for us, uh, whole life policies with insurance policy. Not dividend and dabbled in the entertainment just a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Sounds very interesting. All right. Well, you do have some pop balloons here. So we're going to go by and find out why these ladies pop. Okay. Hello. How are you? Can you give me your name, your age, and your occupation, please? Mm -hmm. I'm Kristen. I'm 33. Um, I'm a salon owner. Okay. And why did you pop your balloon? Um, I popped my balloon because I like a man who's not really too flashy. And um, I like your outfit. I'm I'm not going to lie. She liked the outfit. Okay. I do. Um, But why the hell you got them glasses on? Because, man. You cock at it? No. I could take them off and look you in your eyes, sweetheart. Go ahead and put them back on. Nah, I I would... Go ahead and put them back on, baby. Go. All right. Um, I like the outfit. You well, know, thank you. I'm I a Houston, it. Houston gal, so you know, I'm Nigerian, so you know, I like to ride oh, a horse. Nigerian. But okay. uh-huh. that's what that's that's what I that's what I did if I you know for the ride. That's why. I, yeah. Okay. Okay. And now, is she your type? She she cute. She's not really my type though. She cute. Excuse me. I say you cute, but you're not my type. Can you elaborate? You're just not my type. Everybody have options. I wasn't your type. I just said you was a little flashy. Okay, I just said you wasn't my type. Okay. You be blessed, kid. Okay, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, can you give me your name, your age, and your occupation, and why did you pop your balloon? My name is Valerie. I'm an insurance agent. I am 34 years old. I'll be 35 on Friday. Um, I popped my balloon because you walked out with the sunglasses on, and also you got the gold tooth and gold everywhere. It's a little too much for me. Looks like you're going on a rodeo with no shade. Nothing wrong with that. You seem really cool. But Okay. Yeah, just a little uh-huh. too much jewelry in, in the mouth. I'm from Texas, baby. I know Texas. you are. I know you are. And I, I appreciate it. You you being authentically yourself. I love that. I love it. But yeah, not for me, though. Yeah, nothing wrong with you. But just you know. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay. <laughs> and is she your type? Uh, not really. Not really. But I mean, she's all, all of these are queens, man. They're all beautiful queens, bro. Okay. And why is she your type? Mm, just, just not my type. You know, just not my type. I'm going to just elaborate. You know, just yeah. everybody got a type. So. She ain't my type. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. And can I have your name, age, and your occupation, please? And why did you pop your balloon? Hello. My name is Alexi. I'm 33. I'm a preschool teacher. And I popped my balloon because I don't know what's going on with the fashion. Like, and that's pretty much it. It's the glasses. Okay. And I'm just, and then you got the boots. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. Trying, I was trying to get a feel of your style and your personality, but I, you should ask some questions if you wanted to give my personality. That's facts. You're right. <laughs> okay, and is she your type? No, she's not my type. Okay, and what makes her not your type? She's just not my type. I don't, you know, be honest, I just, she, I don't like darker skinned okay. women. So, fair enough. That's for all three of them. So, you know, I didn't want to say that, but they pulled it out of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. What's your name, your age, and your occupation, and why did you pop your balloon? Yeah. 
Um, my name is Julianne. I'm 28, and I'm a grad student. Um, the pants. I understand we're in Texas, but I don't like your pants. Why do they look dirty? That's how they made, baby. No. Ain't nothing dirty about me. You want to smell me? No, I do not want to <laughs> smell you. She said they look dirty. That's the, that's how they, that's the style, baby. It's just a bit much. Okay. When you take off your glasses, it's not, a, okay. not my type. Okay. And is she your type? She's my type. Hey, and what makes her your time? Uh, I like Hispanic women. Do you speak uh, Spanish? Yes, I do. Let me hear some, even though you probably. Oh, like you're not my type. But we're, we're not. I just wanted to hear no, some. Okay. 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 What you what you saying here? You did too fast. Sorry. You missed out on that one. <laughs> okay. 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 Hello, beautiful. <laughs> you know what? If I would have seen what I was gonna say when I first came out, they'd all pop. So I would, I should have just went with my move. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all at the end what I was gonna say since they popped anyway. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is your name, your age, and your occupation, and why did you pop your balloon? Okay. I'm Lola. I'm 28, and I'm a case manager. And I would say probably a gold teeth or two, or however that is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was like um, pullouts for a bit. But then when you got a bit closer, I was like, that's permanent. Yeah. 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 Okay. And now is she your type? She's my type. She's my type. What makes her your type? I just like the way she looks. I like her style. She cool. She semi live. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> semi live? What do you mean by that? It's, it's giving her a couple of bit, but okay. not giving her the whole thing like a piece of hand. Okay. <laughs> Cause you, cause you didn't get the balloon. Yeah, cause I didn't get the balloon. Now, can I say what I was gonna say? You know what? Cause they popped it. <laughs> Go ahead. What was it? So I was gonna come out and say, "This is the closest to perfection you gonna get." So choose up, oh y'all. So y'all was gonna pop it away. I said, "Just pop it." <laughs> okay. Now, y'all are beautiful queens. I appreciate y'all. I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, unfortunately, all the balloons have been popped. Pop the balloon. Y'all missed that, man. Y'all missed that. I'm telling you. <laughs> Give them some more balloons. And let's welcome our single lady. Hello, how are you? Good, hi. How are you? I'm good. So could you tell me your name, your age, and your occupation, please? Yes. My name is Nicole. I am 35 years old, and I am a um, owner of a construction company. Okay. <laughs> well, you do have two pop balloons already, and we're going to go find out why they pop their balloons. Awesome. Okay. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Could I have your name, your age, and your occupation? Uh, my name is Roderick, better known as Ricky Lee. I'm 34 and I'm an entrepreneur. Um, elaborate a little bit. Uh, I do investment banking, uh, insurance policies, and I also have a security company. Okay, wonderful. And why did you pop your balloon? Well, she's a nice looking lady. She's a little old for me. She's a little older for me. I, I kind of like younger women. Okay. And she said she has a construction company, and so she's her own business woman. So they pretty stiff and strong. So I, you know, I'm looking for by the laid back and someone to assist me in my uh, endeavors. What do you mean stiff and strong? Well, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to say masculine, mm -hmm. but I just want to just strong. She's a businesswoman. She got her own thing going on. She's not going to be cooking no meals at home for me and, you know, catering to me. She, she'll go get her, you know, and not saying I, you know, but that ain't what I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone that can cater to me and assist me. Are you that someone? I, I actually do cook. Um, I cook all my meals at home, and I do cater to my men. Um, so, you know, looks can be deceiving. Business can be deceiving. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Are you masculine energy? <laughs> no, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm strong and I'm sweet. You know what I mean? So I can, I can wear both hats. Okay. Yes. And is he your type? Um, he's handsome. He's a nice-looking guy. Yes, he's he's a, he's your handsome. Thank you're you. a nice looking guy, but you, I don't, you know, with him being an A type and he thinking that I'm an A type, you know. Yeah. It is Understandable. Thank you. Hello, what's your name, your age, and your occupation? Hi, um, my name is Matthew. I am 28, and I am an analyst for a consulting firm. Awesome. And then I guess to elaborate, like my man here, I also dance and act and do poetry. Oh, nice. Awesome. Okay, and why did you pop your balloon? 
uh, unfortunately, it's the age difference. Uh, that, I think that's just the main thing for me. She is a very attractive woman. Hearing about her success as a businesswoman and the fact that she can balance home life and business life is very appealing and attractive. But again, it's just the difference in age. Okay. And again, is he your type? He's a handsome young guy. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Now you do have one balloon that's unpopped. Okay. Uh, let me get your name, your age, and your occupation as well. Hey, my name is George. I am 24, and I am biomed tech. Uh, basically, what I do is mess up the machines inside the hospital. And uh, on the side, I love to do a little bit of art, a little bit of activism and all that, working out as well. I love going out and being very social. That's just me. Okay. And why did you not pop your balloon? I didn't pop my balloon because I like what I see. I think she's a beautiful lady. She's very ambitious. That's basically what I've been looking for. Okay. Uh, okay. You have the opportunity to ask him one question. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, can you tell me um, where do you see yourself five years from now? I see myself having my own firm, uh, my own media firm. Uh, setting up something that is artsy because I am in love with the arts. I love doing things that, you know, uh, free my mind, free my body. And uh, that's just me. So that's that's my objective, my prerogative for the most part. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And what are some deal breakers for you? Um, I'm not really like a hard to please person. Um, I think only, you know, Deal breakers are just people who prejudge me, you know what I mean, um, and people who don't get to know me. So um, I, it's I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of deal breakers. I don't. It's when it comes to um, faith in God. Can you tell me um, how do you feel about God in your faith? So I've been wishy washy with the whole uh, you know religious situation. I'm more of a spiritual person but then also i still consider myself a christian who's asking questions so i consider myself a questioning christian uh non-denominational of course so that's just who i am the most part yeah and do you have a question for her yeah uh i would love to know what do you like to see in a man what do you what is your future with a man do you want kids with a man in in the next 10 years Awesome. That's a great question. Well, I don't have any kids. Okay. So I definitely um, would want kids um, with the guy that I'm with. Hopefully it leads to marriage. Okay. Um, and you said, where do I see myself in the next 10 years? Or? Yeah. What do you see yourself uh, doing in the next 10 years? In the next 10 years, I see myself um, growing my construction company to a global um, construction company. I okay. see myself also uh, being a wife, being a mother. Um, okay. And just really, you know, traveling the world with my significant other and just enjoying the fruits of my labor. Okay. So do you see yourself um, retiring or is it? Yes. What's the? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Okay. So I definitely see myself enjoying the fruits of my labor and building my company up so that, okay. you know, I have that time for the family time and kid time and husband time and things like that. Okay. Yes. Now on your free time, what do you do like as a hobby or something? Um, on my free time, so I like to spend a lot of times. I do a lot of self care stuff. I like to go to the spa. I like to get massages. Um, I, you know, I do a lot of things like that. I love to cook. Um, I like getting. I tr I like to try new recipes. Um, so that's one thing that I'm really big about. And then um, on my free free time, I like to travel. So I like visiting different countries and just going to explore other cultures. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay. So do we have a match here? <laughs> just one more question yeah, go for it. how do you feel about dating someone that's younger than you um actually um the last person that i dated was younger than me um for some reason younger guys have been attracted to me even when i was younger <laughs> but okay. um i don't have a problem i think like age is nothing but a number okay. and it just really comes to the balance of the maturity between um, both parties i don't look at as uh, unless you're like 18 or something like that you know that's a problem but I think age is nothing but a number. And in this day and time, you know, people from Tina Turner to Sher and so many others have shown that as well. Okay. Did I answer your question? Okay. How do you feel? Uh, I feel confident and I think she she's pretty. And <laughs> yeah. generally the, the type of lady I'll be, I'll be going for. And he's your type? 
Yes, he's handsome. Yes, very handsome. And he's a go-getter, ambition. I love that. And I love a guy, a man who can appreciate a strong and a soft woman in one. <laughs> okay, so we do have a match here. All right, we have a match. <laughs> Good job. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 